Gwamnatin Jihar Zamfara ta tabbatar da kisan mutane 21 a wasu hararren yan bindiga a cikin kwanaki biyun da suka shudi a sassa daban-daban na Jihar. Gwamnatin Jihar Burno ya dakatar da dokacin ma'aikatan asibitin garin Gala saboda gujewa marasa lafiya. An samu karin mutane 348 dauke da cutar corona a Nigeria. A labarin ciniki da masana'antu kuwa tashin farashin man Peter ya kawar da fargabar faduwar darajar naira. A labarin kasashen ketare kuwa mutane masu kyamar wariyar launin fata sun kwashe kwana na shida suna zanga zanga a birnin Washington DC to jama'a barka mu da saki saduwa da ku a labarin SVTV sashen Hausa tare da ni Fatima Ibrahim gwamnatin Jihar Zamfara ta tabbatar da kisan mutane 21 a wasu hararren yan bindiga a cikin kwanaki biyun da suka shudi a sassa daban-daban na Jihar Komishina kula da lamarran tsaro da kuma harkokin cikin gida na jihar Alhaji Abubakar Muhammad Dorani ya sanar da haka a cikin wani jawabi da manema labarai a yau din nan to sai dai komishinan ya ce suna nan suna tattara bayanai kan hararren da aka kai a kananan hukumomin talata mafara da maru rahotanni daga yankunan sun ce sama da mutane 60 ne aka kashe a hararren Majalisar dokokin jahar Zamfara ta rusa majalisar kananan hukumomin mulkin jahar 14. Wannan jawabin ya fito daga bakin mai magana da yawun majalisar Malam Mustafa Jafaru. Ya ce majalisar kuma ta baiwa gwamnatin jahar damar nada kanto momi kamin daga bisani ta gudanar da sai yihan zabe cikin wa'adin watanni uku. Kakakin majalisar ya ce an cimma wannan shawara ne a wani zama da majalisar ta gudanar a yau din nan. Shugaban kungiyar yan kishin kasa masu neman tabbatar da zaman lafiya da cigaban al'umma Dr. Sani Abdullahi Shinkafi ya bayyana cewa gwamnatin Jihar Zamfara ta ware filin noma har hekta 1435 domin noma auduga a Jihar Dr. Shinkafi yayi wannan bayani ne a lokacin bukin murnar cika shekara 1 ta gwamnatin Alhaji Bello Muhammad Matawallan Maradin ya kara da cewa bayan samar da wata hukuma mai kula da noma auduga a Jihar Gwamna Matawalli ya kuma yi alƙawarin samar da bashin numar Audugar ga akalla manoma 65 a duk fadin jahar. Yi a yanzu haka jahar Zamfara ta kashe kudi naira biliyan 6 domin samar da takin zamani ga manoma a jahar. Gwamnatin Jihar Sokoto Alhaji Aminu Waziri Tambuwal ya yaba wa zilla da jajircewar shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari a kokarin sa na gana an kawar da ayyukan ta'addanci a duk fadin kasar nan. Wannan yayi wannan yabo ne a lokacin da yake kaddamarwa da kuma mika motoci 98 ga hukumomin tsaro da ke a jahar Sokoto. Ya kuma jinjinawa shugaban kasa akan sauraron kodafin kodafin jama'ar jahar Sokoto da kuma tabbacin da ya baiwa al'umar jahar Sokoto na dawo da zaman lafiya a jahar. Gwamna Tambuwal ya kuma yi kira ga gwamnatin tarayya da ta ƙara samar da jami'an tsaro domin yaki da wannan musibar ta ta'addancin da ta addabi jahar da kuma kasar gaba daya. Gwamnatin Jihar Jigawa ta umarci ma'aikatan jihar da su ci gaba da kiyaye dokar nan ta zama a gidajensu har zuwa nan da sati biyu daga ranar 3 ga watan Yuni na zuwa 15 ga watan Yuni na wannan shekarar ta 2020. Wannan sanarwa ta fito daga cikin wata takarda karin bayani daga shugaban ma'aikata na jihar Alhaji Hussein Alkila ya rabta wa hannu. Alhaji Hussein Alkila ya bayyana cewa gwamnati ta dauki wannan mataki ne domin kokarin kare lafiyar ma'aikatan iyalan su da kuma daukacin al'umar jahar. Haka kuma komishinan ya umarci masu aiki na musamman da suke yayi dokar kariyar kai a lokacin da suke gabatar da ayyukan su. Gwamnatin Jihar Borno Professor Babagana Umar Azulum ya dakatar da daukacin ma'aikatan babbar asibitin garin Igala bayan sun gujewa aikin su da na kula da marasa lafiya a asibitin gwamnatin ya kai wata ziyarar ba za ta a asibitin a inda ya samu wasu ma'aikatan lafiya na wata kungiya mai zaman kanta ne ke kula da lafiyar daruruwan marasa lafiya gwamna zulum ya bayyana takaitacin sa na rashin samun ko daya daga cikin ma'aikatan asibitin hasali ma jami'an kula da ayyukan wata kungiya ce mai zaman kanta mai suna FHI 368 ya tarbe shi a wannan asibitin 
Ada dema sa kita cutar corona a Nigeria a yanzu ya kai mutane 11166 bayan cibiyar yaki da cututuka ta kasa NCDC ta tabbatar da samun karin mutane 348 masu dauke da cutar a kasar a wani rahoton da cibiyar ta wallafa a shafin ta na Twitter ta ce wannan adadi ya hada da mutane 3329 da aka sallama daga asibitoci bayan sun samu waraka da wasu mutane 315 waɗanda suka riga mu gidan gaskiya cibiyar ta ci gaba da cewa jihar Lagos ce akan gaba da yawan masu dauke da cutar har mutane 163 sai babban yankin birnin tariya mai mutane 76 da kuma jihar Ebonyi wadda ke da mutane 23 gwamnatin tariyar Najeriya ta aminta da waru kudi har naira biliyan 8 domin gabatar da aikin na garin farin ruwa dake a jihar Nasarawa aikin gina madatsar ruwan wanda aka fara tun shekarar 2003 a yanzu gwamnatin tariya ta dauki nauyin gina shi a shekarar 2018 ana saran madatsar ruwan ta samar ruwan domin rani da kuma megawatt na wutar lantarki shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya umarci hukumar yan sanda ta kasar Najeriya da ta zakulo mutanen da suka yi wa wata mata mai suna Uwaila Umuzuwa fadi tare da kashi ta a lokacin da al'umar kasar suke ci gaba da nuna takaitun su akan yanda ake yawan samun yuwa kananan mata fadi a duk fadin kasar mutane da dama ne suka fito akan tituna birnayen kasar su na yin Allah wadai da wannan al'amari tare da yada wani kira na nuna takaitun su a karkashin wani take da suka yi wallakabi da blackout tuesday a shafukan sadarwa na yanar gizo shi ma shugaba Buhari ya shiga cikin wannan jerin masu wannan kiraye kiraye a lokacin da ya wallafa takaitun sa akan kashe Miss Uwaila a shafin sa na Twitter ya kuma mika sakunta aziyar saga iyaye da kuma abokan arzikin wannan baiwar Allah da ta hadu da ajalinta a sanadiyar wannan mummunar hali na wasu marasa tsoron Allah kamfanin samar da mai na kasar Najeriya NNPC ya sanar da fara sayar da man Peter ga manyan dillalai da kuma sa ido ga yanda ake gabatar da sayar da man ga al'umar kasar nan ta hanyar na'urori masu amfani da yanar gizo kamfanin ya ce wannan mataki za ya rage cutanya a tsakanin ma'aikatan kamfanin da masu cinikin man kuma ya tabbatar da man yana isa wuraren da ya kamata ba tare da an karkata shi zuwa wani wuri daban ba babban jami'i mai kula da harkokin sadarwa ta zamani Mr. Dan Lade Inwa ya bayyana haka yana cewa an samar da hanyoyin da za ya sayi man ta mahajoji na yanar gizo tare da kuma samar da hanyoyin sa ido akan dukkan man da ya fita daga kamfanin har zuwa wuraren da za ya sayar da shi ga jama'a alabarin ciniki da masana'antu kuwa Karuwar tashin farashin man Peter a kasuwannin duniya ya kwantar da fargabar da masu saka jari ke da ita akan faduwar darajar naira wanda a baya ya zama abun damuwa darajar dan yamman na Brent da ya fadi ya nunka farashin sa a inda aka sayar da kowanne gangar mai akan dala 40 wannan ya sa kasar Najeriya ta fara ƙara adadin kudaden ajiyar ta na kasashen waje domin ta kan samu kudaden cinikai ya da kasashen waje ne ta hanyar sayar da man Peter a yanzu haka ana sayar da dalar Amurka akan naira 388 a kasuwar nan hada hadar kudade haka ya samu bambancin farashin dalar ya rage a tsakanin kasuwar nan bayan fage da wadanda hukumomin ke gudanarwa a labarin kasashen kitare kuwa dubban masu zanga zanga sun ci gaba da nuna bacin ran su a birnin Washington DC a lokacin da yan sanda ke kiyaye yanda ake gabatar da wannan zanga zanga a layin gidan shugaban kasar Amurka na White House masu zanga zangar sun durkusa a lokacin da suke jiran tsohon shugaban kasar Mr Barack Obama wanda ya zai tattauna da su akan rikicin kashe Mr George Floyd wani bakar fata wanda wani dan sandan farar fata yayi sanadiyar mutuwar sa ta hanyar aza masa gwiwar kafar sa a wuya magajin garin na Washington DC ya kafa dokar hana fita daga karfe 11 na yamma domin hana barkewar tarzuma a birnin karshen labarin kenan da kuka riga ya kuka ji daga nan gidan television na Standard Voice amma kafin na sallama da ku ga bitar kanin labarin gwamnatin jihar Zamfara ta tabbatar da kisan mutane 21 a wasu hararren yan bindiga a cikin kwanaki biyun da suka shude a sassa daban-daban na jihar Gwamnatin jihar Burno ya dakatar da dokacin ma'aikatan asibitin garin Gala saboda gujewa marasa lafiya 
an samu karin mutane 348 dauke da cutar corona a Nigeria a labarin ciniki da masana'antu kuwa tashin farashin man Petro ya kawar da fargabar faduwar darajar naira a labarin kasashen ketare kuwa mutane masu kyamar wariyar launin fata sun kwashe kwana na shida suna zanga zanga a birnin Washington DC amma da dan kowa da kowa musamman shugaban sashin labarai Alhaji Ibrahim Garbatuno da kuma shugaban sashin Hausa Lawal Ismaila Fatima Ibrahim ke ce da ku mu kwana lafiya